Hi, I'm Jean Ellen, and welcome to the Great Southwest. Today I have some interesting topics to talk to you about. Uh, first of all, here's a picture of my son, who has nicely gone out and continues to clean up the fuzzies from my feather mesquite tree. So that's something that we're, <laughs> we're doing right now. Um, it, it's just never ending. I think the trees are finally done giving out their fluffies. And then driving by our dinosaur McDonald's, even the T-Rex is in on social distancing. And this is where I wondered if other people have this issue with their cats. I, he really likes doing this, don't know why. And here we go, this is a quick quick update on my outdoor feral kitties. And that, that is, um, that's Scruffy. And he's up on the, he's very smart, he jumps up on the table, but look, somebody's watching him. And I thought at first it was a cat and I'm thinking, yay, someone else is going to see that you can go up on this table and get food besides just Scruffy. So it turns out, no, it's not another cat. It's Ricky Raccoon, and here he comes. And he knows the kitty's eating. There's my cat, Maxine. She's watching the video, too. So he's just hanging out, playing in the big water dish. And he comes really close to Scruffy. I don't think Scruffy, you know, when they're up on the table, the kitties feel pretty safe. But I think he's aware. Oh yeah, the raccoon's up on the steps, trying to figure out how to get up there. Figured he would just bite his time until the cat leaves. Scruffy's just munching away. It's good Scruffy found this table and accesses it because when this raccoon is done with all the food for the other kitties, there's no food for kitties. So Scruffy here has an older brother named Doppler. And Doppler and my girl cat Nermal are going to be without food once this little raccoon is done. But, but Scruffy will always have food up here. So the raccoon, he's checking in the house that he's already cleaned out. There's no more kitty food in there, so he decides he's going to try to do an aerial assault. And they were successful in the past. Some of the tree limbs overhung the feeding tables, and I think they were able to drop down upon it, but the branch he's going up has nothing to do with the, and nowhere near this cat table, so he's gonna, he's gonna give up and come back down. Try to convince Scruffy to give him something. The only raccoon I ever had a big issue with, with was my ninja raccoon. And there's a whole other video on the ninja. There goes Scruffy. He's gonna leave. And uh, Ricky Raccoon here will continue to try to figure out how to get up there. But it turns out that my ninja raccoon was a mama. So she had a great interest in being to get up on that table, and she actually did. They, they should not be able to jump vertically. And she was able to do that because she had a need for food. Oh, I finished my Van Gogh wheat fields too. Isn't he pretty? I just love the colors. I loved how it, they all swirl together. I think that looks really nice. So yay. So now I'm gonna start working on my pirate ship. And it looks very nice. It has over 30 um, colors. So it's a bit much. It uh, really it really fills up my, my diamond caddy. But they look very clear. Very easy to, uh, to follow. So I will keep you up to date on how my pirate ship goes. Okay, now that I'm into it and I've started doing some of them, I'm realizing that the printing on this canvas is not in focus in a lot of areas. And it's not the end of the world, but it's very annoying. Uh, it's really strange. I haven't run across this with Diamond Dots before. So kind of disappointed in that. And also there were areas where there was no poured glue. Not a huge area. The diamonds had enough stuff to stick, but 
That was kind of weird too. So not so happy. Okay, and another issue that I have, if you look at number 28, you see that T right there? That's number 28. You wouldn't know by looking at that symbol that that has anything to do with these bright yellow diamonds. It's just really weird. And the same up here, there's a little bit of color in 13 here, but nothing that would show that it's like that. But when you look for the, the T's in the picture, um, let me see if I can find any. So there's the symbol T, right? And it's going to be that color diamond. So it just, it's not the end of the world. And this picture will end up looking so much more pretty because the original art does not in any way represent the colors of the diamonds that are going to be on there. So I just, it was just really strange. And another complaint I have. I'm in Hobby Lobby right now looking at their diamonds. You see that lighthouse right there? It's an advanced expert. Are you kidding me? That was one of the easiest ones I ever did. And I'll show it to you in a second. There was nothing, and I'm just showing you now what else is on the wall. But that lighthouse is nothing but horizontal lines of the same color and just switching out colors as you work your way up the lighthouse with those lines. I don't understand what they're doing. So here is my lighthouse. And I kid you not, and it, it's not even a full drill. It's a partial drill and not much at that. But so here we go. Okay, so it's a bunch of horizontal lines. I, I was wrong in saying it was all one color. It's not. But I tell you, it was not a difficult painting to do, and I don't understand why Diamond Dot is now calling this an advanced expert painting. I would say it's intermediate, if anything. So here's another lighthouse, not by Diamond Dot, but by another one. You can see this one's a mosaic. It's completely filled. That one was crazy. But, ah, uh, and, the, and the pirate ship I'm doing right now is also an advanced expert. It's large, it's a mosaic, it's, you know, it's a full drill. So I, I'll give them that one, but not this one. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, we've been hitting about 105 degrees uh, here in Tucson. So it's been kind of toasty, uh, but it's, it's, we're used to it. It's okay. Uh, I did want to show in my kitty area that at this time of year when I go to feed them, uh, we have an ant an ant problem. So if you have problems with your um, your pet food, if you can get it into a moat like this, this is full of water. And then I have like a a cat um, a cake uh, table that sits in the water, but I could put a plate on top of it. And then I've got these other things that I have kibble on. So it got to the point where the cats couldn't eat their food because of all the ants that were on it. So putting the food in a moat keeps the ants. You have to make sure that you're a good distance from the edge because the ants will use each other to uh, climb across. They'll climb on their dead comrades to get over to the, the legs. But if you keep enough water in there and stuff, you can keep the ants from uh, getting on the food. So the flies, they're another problem. But anyway, so thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video and, and all my complaining, <laughs> No, it's not that bad. But it was just interesting questions about what Diamond Dot thinks uh, is the qualifications for each level. But um, I don't know. If you have any comments about that, go ahead and leave one. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you liked today's video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you joining me. Have a wonderful day.